Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Miguel Kilagula, and we are 3 Kilobytes, and this is a Play Byte series. We're playing Diablo 3, but what we're going to do is actually talk about retro gaming, how we got started into video games, and if you haven't already done it, remember to like the video, and please subscribe if you're new to us. And subscribe. We need the attention. We're attention whores. We're media whores. So what we're going to do is actually play through this whole game if everyone's still interested. Yeah, like if we start getting like four views, yeah, of it, it's just not worth it. But uh, you know, because it's just our family watching it. Yeah. Primarily, we're going to be talking about retro gaming. Yes. Well, they're going to see that. Oh, who cares? It's okay. I have here to Did you guys get oh. your new PC? Nope. What are we playing it on? Uh, we're playing it on a Mac, so. Uh, that's what people are, that's the number one question, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So let's get into the retro gaming talk right away. My first question for Mike Caligula is, what is the first... You don't want to ask fan? Our only fan? That's good. It's right there. No, we have three fans if you look closely. What was your first system and how did you get it? That's a good question. First system was... The Atari. Actually, that's not true. First system was the oh, Commodore. Yeah. See, we recorded this twice. We messed up once. Yeah. This is the second time doing it, and you lied then. And now yeah. you're trying well, to lie again. It's not lying. It's just forgetful. There goes a jet ski. Yeah. But, yeah, Commodore. Um, and I got it from my dad, who got it from a friend at work. Who from got his it job. from a male hooker in Australia. Doesn't matter. I got it. I like how I just left that room. For her to die maybe i should get back over mm -hmm. there so so yeah my dad just brought it home one day and you know i was a kid i didn't really know what it was it's just it looks like i don't know if people you might want to google it to see what i'm talking about google but, google google it but it's a keyboard and you stick the cartridge in the back and to load actually no you don't stick the cartridge in the back to load games there's an audio cassette tape you put the audio cassette tape in and you wait five minutes to play and some games, I remember, you had to go to side B. I thought that was hilarious. Side Even B? Even back then, I thought it was hilarious. You'd go side A, play, loading, insert side B, you flip it over, side B. Then you play a game, you die, and then you gotta do it again if you die. Horrible. Ridiculous, right? But it was cutting edge, ahead of its time, I, I, and, I, and I did actually love it. So don't, make, don't make fun of it. What was the year? Do you remember? I don't know. Remember? I do not know. 80s. 80s. That's the best I can give you. Where, and you lived at, in in the country. In the country, yeah. North of Barrie. Yeah. So that was your first system. Yeah, if you consider that a system, you can consider that a system, right? Yeah, of course. Had the joystick. Yeah. And then that next one was the Atari. Oh, yeah. well, your first system. My very first system ever uh, was the Sega Master System. Basically, my Oma and Opa, growing up, they played a ton, like. A ton of games, believe it or not. So my Oma and Opa, that's actually Dutch for Grandma and Grandpa. And uh, welcome thought, our roommate. I thought it was Rose Sandy. Sandy Wall. Sandy Wall. Ladies and gentlemen. Sandy Wall's bum. Sandy, what uh, system did you play first? Nintendo. Nintendo? Nintendo? What well, was the game? Uh, Mario 2. Mario 2. We were, yeah. Did you think that was a weird game? You th I, loved it. I thought they were on acid. I liked it. But I like what you've done... I like what you've done with your body. Okay, good night, buddy. Remember to like the video for Sandy's bum. So, uh, Sega Master System. What happened was, as you know, my mom was poor, and your mother was rich. That's how you got everything you wanted. Get that shit out of here. Oh no! Look, oh no! So. I went to their house all the time because I lived around the corner from them. And and you said earlier, not a lot of old people played games back then. Yeah, on our first recording. Yeah. And to be honest, that was that was like 26, 7 years ago when I was like 6 years old. Yeah, it was unheard of. It was ridiculous. So they used to play Sega Master System more than anybody I knew, even more than my friends. Because at the time, nobody really had video games. Like, you think it's a Dutch thing? They, no. love, they love electronics? Yeah, they probably do this and then play. What's that? That's drugs. Oh. That's not very nice. No, they do it for sure. Oh. They're Dutch. Like, what do you think? And I remember going there all the time. And I remember they had a room. 
their own little gaming room. I'm not making this Come up. Come on, get out of here. Yep, I get swear to God. Get out of here. It had it. They had a television. Well, and, I think that would be crucial. Yeah, and they had the <laughs> system. Imagine if they had the gaming room without the television. That's yep. insane. And in this room stored all their video game stuff. So And pictures of Jay Hoof. Are you ready for this? I wasn't when I was six and seven, I wasn't actually allowed in that room unless somebody was there with me. Did you think it was weird that, that yeah, room? Yeah, because like it was sex, like sex maybe? No. Like something weird was happening in that no, room? I was young. Oh, okay. You're I, innocent. You I didn't know, have a I've, dirty mind yet. No, I thought they were drinking alcohol and I wasn't allowed near Imagine it. they called it the musty cellar, the gaming room. Yeah. So I wasn't allowed near that stuff. Until I was a bit older. So I remember about it like a year later. Why are they? Uh, they're really fast. What happened there? Oh, these are fatsos? I haven't seen the fat, fast fatsos. That's a fat fatso. Yeah. I gotta play this game more. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, Mike. Save my life. Oh, I can. You did it. You did it. So you're saying about this game room? That you're Why are they so fast? That's what I'm saying. Is something wrong with the game? Is this what they're supposed to happen? No, they're not supposed to be that fast. I don't know what that was. But There's a glitch. Glitch in the game, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. It's this. It's Blizzard. It's because you're on a Mac. You're on a Mac. <laughs> no, we're not. We're on a PC. So, uh, I finally love, got I into love that when you room. Do that. Finally got into the room, and in that room they had Sega Master System with two controllers. They had the classic. Uh, not many people know about this one, but. It had an arcade stick that you could buy separately. There was light guns for the system for a game called Gangster Town, I believe. Now, the first time you went over to their place, did they have this already? Or this yeah, it was, was always over there. Time? No, it was there. And at the time, I this is like when I was six. I didn't know what video games even were. What? Yeah, I was so, like six years, set, maybe even five. So this is how you learned about video games? Yeah, from them. That's bizarre, eh? You learned about video games from your grandparents. Yeah. Who? Wh what else? Who other could uh, say that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think many people can. Because they hate games, usually. Uh, yeah, usually I think it's... Or like Oops. they don't understand why people spend so much time. Well, parents are like that. Look at this bug. That's a big bug. Buzz bug. So, there goes a buzz bug, they say. My tongue's really sore. Like on this side. I don't know what you did. I keep on thinking of that scene from Jurassic Park when she's looking at the Triceratops. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> right. And it feels like that. Like, and she picks that. I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, it feels sore like that. I dehydrated or something. <laughs> so. Bizarre, I know. What did you have for dinner? Uh, I had a pizza bun. Could and, be that. And mac and cheese. I was going to have an icicle. Or something. Oh, an icicle. <laughs> <laughs> a funchicle. You were going to go outside <laughs> yeah, yeah. and get an icicle. Go, go to uh, Antarctica <laughs> and get an icicle. What would you have for dinner? I was going to have an I was gonna have an icicle, and then I was mind. gonna ride the rainbow home. So that's <laughs> that's where it originally came from. It wasn't my mother who played. It wasn't my uncle because they kind of lived together. Uh, it wasn't like my friends because all we did was go outside. Are you sure Uncle Joe didn't play any games? I didn't know my dad at that time. Okay. Um, so going ahead, uh, like a year, they finally got me my own system on Easter. And it was the most epic day ever because I got to bring that system home. And they actually gave me their copy of Wonder Boy. Now, Wonder Boy uh, at the time was... It's a good movie. Well, yeah, it was a good movie as well. When did that movie come out? 2000? Probably 99. If we Somewhere. looked it up, I bet you it's 99. Probably. Yeah, all those movies, 99. And imagine that. 99 is the good year. You keep going. I'm going to just check. So I got Wonder Boy. Now... Let me get into Wonder Boy a little bit. Wonder Boy is about um, a young tribesman, as I call him. Mm -hmm. And he, he rides skateboards and collects fruit in the jungles. And it's really just about saving his girlfriend almost every level. At the end of every level... Level? Oh, at the end of every level... Close, right? 2000. 2000, yeah. At the end of every level... He would fight the same boss, but the boss would have a different voodoo head on. It's so Wonder that, Boys, the movie. Yeah. And the head would always be different. And he, maybe he would be, like, throwing things or he would jump. And this game was incredible because it was the first game I mastered in terms of, like, I could hold the, the D-pad left, or sorry, right, and not let go of it and complete the game. What are you talking about? You know, like in Mario, when you walk? Yeah. I could hold it. And play this game without stopping. 
I could beat all most of all the Going levels. Going forward? Yeah, without just stopping. I you got so good at it. You cocky son of a bitch. And, yeah. So, th- I thought you were going to be like, I could play with my feet. Yeah. So no. there. No. So that really is the first experience I had with a side-scrolling adventure game. It wasn't, it wasn't Mario. Uh, Mario came along way after that, I think. Not way after, but in my life he came along way after that. <laughs> in your life? Yeah, in my life. In reality, no. In my life, yes. Well, yeah, in my life. Okay. I'm level three already. So, did you ever have a friend who had the Sega Master System? Do you even no. know what I'm talking about? Not really, because my, my, I was Commodore, Atari, Commodore. Then, then Nintendo, uh, then Super Nintendo, Sega oh, Genesis. calm down. Well, I'm just telling you, that's my... Well, how just I, calm down. I leaped, right? And then somewhere... You're going to leap already right, off the tall building tomorrow when yeah. I push you. And after... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was around the N64 area. Yeah, yeah, That I had... My family got a PC. Oh, And I dear. started playing adventure games on uh, that. And then, playing, and then playing N64 uh, on the console. So I was playing both. It was best of both worlds, can, right? Can you tell them quickly what I used to do at, like, 4 a.m.? At your house because we're it was the first time we tri- uh, played Tribes, and I showed it to Jay, and Jay loved it so much. And I liked it a lot, but I showed it to Jay, and he couldn't get off of the thing. And we had dial-up, and it was so bad because we got disconnected all the time. It was a nightmare, but it was so good, and we were so addicted to it that we didn't care. We just kept connecting, connecting, and playing. Even if we got to play for like you know 10, 15 minutes, that it was worth it to like ruin our lives and wake up my mother. But uh, I would. Mike would fall asleep, and I'd wake up. Yeah. And I'd actually go turn the computer on. Yeah. And, like, I would have to somehow sneak back down in the basement before his mother came down in the morning and pretend that I was asleep. Yeah. And then and then wake up and just play it. And then, yeah. And then we'd pretend I remember, to wake I remember up. we, like, we just waited for my mom to make, make breakfast while playing it. But it was there was a game that I did that you went to bed and I stayed up all night. It was that... Uh, that mech cop game mech warrior cop game on and i Mac. brought it didn't i no no on your house i played it at your house and you went to bed and i was playing it all night oh man what was that game that game was amazing i don't know it it's two player and it supported uh the eight eight what card did i have eight eight well, i forget what the card was but I remember I got a, a graphics card and I found a game. That it was the ran first the game card. that was two player that I played like this on the keyboard, where you were on one side and I was on this side. That game that was, was amazing. Pretty, yeah, I, think I remember it was that thing. So going back to our first systems, <laughs> we kind of leap there. Oh uh, yeah, we went a little bit ahead, but going back, well, that was the first game we played together. On my Mac? Yeah. Or Tribes? No, on your Mac. Possibly. No, oh, for sure, because I stayed over at your house first. And you... You didn't... I didn't get the ABM and TV until you moved away. Oh. I also had... What I was going to say was I had the 486 IBM FTV before that. Oh, and it was a shit... Right, and I played a lot shit. of adventure games on that. That's when I played, like, the dig, full throttle. Okay, I remember that now. Yeah. So... After you got the Commodore mm. and the, uh, what was the second Atari. One? You got the Atari. Well, when I got the Atari, my, it was a surprise. I didn't know it was coming. My dad just brought it home one day, randomly. And I, I'll never forget it because he was playing it. And I never see my dad playing video games because he was he connected it to the TV. And so my mom's like, dad, 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 Dad's got a surprise for you, kids. Go downstairs. We went downstairs. And he's like, and we were like, we didn't know what the hell was going on. Oh, sorry for the buzz. We didn't know what the hell was going on because we saw my dad with the joystick <laughs> looking at the TV and it's like this tank game. And we're like, what? And, and Nintendo was already out. So I was like, at the same time, it was bittersweet because I was like, this is amazing. I got a console. It's it's not Nintendo, though. <laughs> it's yeah, the old one. I know what you mean. Right? It's Atari. It kind of is what you wanted. Yeah, but it, it kind isn't. of, but it isn't. Because uh, all my other friends play Nintendo. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm happy anyways. So... I didn't yeah. want to. I didn't want to be act like a spoiled brat, right? So my dad. So you went. Where's so my I, fucking Nintendo? Yeah, and my dad's like. I, my, I remember my dad going. I like this, and he goes, "You try it." And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> so we're playing the tank game, and yeah, and then he. Is had, that why you and your dad bonded? No, for the first God time? no. So me and my brother first killed each other, and then he gave me 
two grocery bags full of cartridges of Atari cartridges. And it probably blew your mind at that. I was like, well, I'm like, that's – then I was like, I forgot from Nintendo because I'm like, I could have Nintendo and have, like, one or two games. Or I could have this and have, like, this many games. There was probably 55 games there. And I remember playing the tank game, this Moon Raker one where you're like a little car on the moon jumping. That was my favorite one. And also, I finally popped in the infamous E.T. cartridge. I remember how it was my first experience of loving like a console game at home other than my Commodore because you had to load it with the cassette tape. Yeah. And then I popped in E.T. and I remember getting instantly frustrated with it. Well, Just yeah. like the the eight the music and everything like that and like the sound effects and like how there's like no absolutely no way to like do like, anything in the to game. To do anything that's even remotely possible. <laughs> anything that even makes sense. Yeah. And like and you're like, this has nothing to do with the movie either. <laughs> I mean I don't remember E. T. falling in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that a, does he fall in the hole in the movie? He doesn't fall in the hole. No, he doesn't fall in the Like, anymore. at least put him on, like, a bike in a basket or something. And maybe Elliot could fly. I don't know. So it was just something. shit. It was just like, what is he? Why? I mean, in the beginning, he's sort of running away from the FBI or whatever you want to call him. But, like, yeah, that's where it ends. And why does the FBI agent look like Dick Tracy? I don't <laughs> know. They were in a rush for that one. But anyways, that was my first experience with Atari. So, that is today's episode. Oh. Will we have another episode of this? Oh. Maybe. You know, you know I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we quit. Yeah. Um, so, getting back to Diablo really quickly here. I got some good pants. So, one. Gonna That's better the... than your real pants. Yeah. I got some arrows, some more pants, and a sword. Um... That's about it. I didn't do much on that. So, what are we going to do? I think we'll do another part of this. Yeah, we don't know when they'll come out, but maybe another part. Well, a probably within parts. a week. Yeah, we'll do a few But parts. if you guys liked us talking about the retros and you want us to continue going on in the stories, so what would be next? You got your SNES? Ne- next your, no, your NES. NES, yeah. And for me, uh, it, I don't know what came next. I'm going to have to think about it. But You're, if you want to... You didn't s- get an NES? no. What? No. Well, you're next to be Super Nintendo. No, you're going to laugh. But uh, anyways, cliffhanger. See you guys next time. If you want another one, you're going to have to uh, let us know in the comments. Just let us know. Yeah. And if you say no, we'll ban you. Yep. Bye. Thank you for the support over the last two years. Love you.